Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Uh, it's cast time once again. And um, this time, this is going to be mostly audio. Um, very little video. So, so this is going old school once again. This is the way I used to do it when I first started doing these casts. Just have some music playing in the background and doing nothing but talking. Like, no, no images or anything like that. So, and uh, the music, got to be one of the easiest... Gotta be one of the uh, easiest albums to pronounce. Ek. That's, right, apparently, that's the name of the band. Ek. And the name of the album, Teal. So, Ek. Teal. So. And it's kind of a good thing too because uh, the the title the the titles on some of these songs, Winter Bleeder Till Bar Bleeder Till Winter. No idea what that is, but uh, I do know that um, this uh, this band here they're Swedish, so okay. Um, but otherwise, for the most part, um, not a not a super active night. I did um, uh, I spent a lot of uh. I spent a lot of time playing playing Gems of War, though. I think, um... I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is this is definitely one of my Gems of War nights. Just spent more time playing it than I have. Than... Can't remember. But just doing a lot of map farming. Um... I don't want to go into the details of my current build, but, uh... It's, um... It's good for mid-tier and PvP content, and it's also it can also net you a lot of ca it can also net you a lot of cash as well. So, so I've just been playing that a lot, and again, doing a lot of math farming, and then, um, actually no, I take that back. Um, mostly math farming, um, using my mid-tier group mostly, and then sometimes switching up, switching it up, and uh, using my uh, using my other group. For the um, for the super low tier content, so just kind of mixing it up back and forth. Um, sometimes taking my uh, my again my current team, my mid tier team. Sometimes uh, ramping up the difficulty a little bit, you know, to a point where monsters aren't dying and aren't dying in one hit. You know, taking two, sometimes even three hits, just just for the challenge. You know, because just grinding easy stuff gets pretty boring after a while. And um. And also, um, I've also been doing a fair amount of uh, doing a lot of treasure maps as well. For those that don't know what that is, it's just it's a non-competitive game mode. Like it's just single player. You're not having to take out your opponent or anything like that. You're just I, it, it's a match three to you know it's a match three game. Just like just like uh, everything else in that game, you, you just you're for lack of a better word, upgrading. You're trying to upgrade the. Uh, I don't want to say gems as much as I want to say you're trying to upgrade your coins as much as possible like it the bottom of the barrel you are like uh, bronze coins silver coins gold coins then it goes to money bags um, and it goes to wooden chests emerald chests uh, red chests and then eventually um, gold bolts I might be missing some. I might be missing something in there, but but, but again, it's a, it's a, it you know, treasure treasure uh, treasure rooms are a, are a match three where you just try to come out come out of there with as much loot as possible, and you only have ten turns to do it in, but, I don't know. I think I made a video about this, but oh well. Anyway, um, but if you if you match four, then um you won't lose a turn. You match five, you get an extra turn. So, so on one end you're trying to get as much loot as possible, but you're also trying to stay in there as long as possible as well. So, just been playing a lot of this as well. And then um, also uh, been uh, still been watching uh, some FGC uh, fighting game community for those that don't know. Uh, just watching a uh, watching a couple of uh, FGC documentaries, not. Not all the way through, just 
about 10, 15 minutes here. You know, in 10, 15 minutes there. I watched a... I did watch a new one. Like, The Road to Evolution. Like, Evo. Like the... Kind of like the World Series of Fighting Games. Like the the World Olympics, that kind of thing. But, um, they... They, uh... This one here is centered around a black guy. I swear to God, he sounded like David Goggins. Like the... The, the legendary ultra marathon runner. Just... I've been wanting to compete ever since I was a kid. I've loved fighting games ever since I was a kid. But my parents, however, they couldn't understand the appeal of it. They didn't know why I loved them, loved them so much. Just meeting all sorts of new people. Just trying to better myself. Trying to improve my play style. I mean, I love fighting games. There's nothing else in the world like it. I'm hoping that one day, that I'll beat the EVO tournament. And become the greatest EVO player of all time. You know, kind of like that. I mean, David Goggins kind of sounds like that, too. It's just, you should always be striving to do 10% more than what you did yesterday. The mind is powerful. Use it. Don't let it go to waste on you. It's easy to be strong in this world because everyone else is so weak. Oh, and, and by the way, oh, and he's not just being an arrogant asshole or anything like, uh, um, he's... At one point, he weighed as much as 300 pounds. Um, I think he tried to do a... He just blissfully entered a 100-mile marathon. Or it's a 100-mile ultra marathon. He made it. He made it as far as 80 miles. And he had... I think he ended up collapsing. His feet were all fucked up and stuff. But he got 80 miles, man, before he quit. And he was doing this while weighing about 300 pounds. So this guy's legit. But yeah, he had a. But uh, he he tried to. He was a Navy SEAL. He um, and he had a. I think he, he failed Hell Week, twice, but the third Hell Week that he went through, he finally finally made it through. Like yeah, like three Hell Weeks. I I don't want to explain what all you have to go through, to become a Navy SEAL. You, I, not trying to hand wave you or anything, but you probably have to look that up on Google. But yeah, he he had to go through three of those to become a Navy SEAL. So, but like like I said, he he is probably the hard hardest he, the hardcorest of the hardcore. So, but yeah, this but this fighting game person that I was that I was watching, he sounded almost exactly like him. So, just really intense. Like he, I mean, you know. The guy's tough, you know, the guy's tough and legit, but I don't think he'd be very much fun at parties. So, but just started watching some of that. And on top of that, I decided to go ahead and, you know, inspired by that, I decided to play some more footsies. Um, did an arcade run. It was just god-awful. It just, you know, I just kept messing up, kept getting the range wrong and that kind of thing. I mean, certain fighters on there... If one was to ever see my videos, yeah, I do try to exploit a weakness that they all have. I mean, they're AI, so they they're predictable. They can be beat if you know how they if you know how they work. Um, some of them require you require attacks to be done at exactly the right range, you know, two out of the way, and you'll miss. And one of them, one of the one of the guys you fight on there, he's called Whiff Punisher. He's designed to do just that. To punt, instantly punish your misses, you know. So, like, like I said, if you're if you attack from too far away, you miss. But if you attack from too close, you'll actually get countered, just like that. So, you really gotta play the range game with some of these enemies. But anyway, I was just really bad this time around. Um, I did want to do an uh, I um, I was, I wanted to do an uh, I wanted to do a an online match. With somebody else with an actual human player but I totally forgot to but even if I did remember to if my last experience was anything to go by it's probably going to be another match where where the ping is anywhere between two to three hundred like my opponent's like on clear on the other side of the globe like monstrous lag so yeah no well, I'm taking a drink hold on
But yeah, and so far I'm liking this. Liking this music. Plus the thumbnail is cool as hell too. I mean it's it's simple as hell. It's a tree. Picture of a tree. Not much no, not much more needs to be said about that. You know, some of these you know, some of these I, these nature music, for lack of a better phrase, you know, they kinda they kind of get a little too complex with the imagery, with the album cover. It's like a picture of a wolf with a sunset and a mountain. You know, like some some akin to a Bob Ross painting. Looks all beautiful and elaborate. Not this one. It don't fuck around. It just, it's a freaking tree. This is what this album is all about. I think uh, I need to see more thumbnails like this. I mean, as much as I love this kind of music, it just, like I said, they kind of get a little too elaborate with some of these some of these album covers you know it it should just be a picture of a waterfall or a picture of a river that's it you know you know I don't need to see you know I don't need to see the fog the you know the like you know like something you probably see Planet Earth, like that documentary series. The first thing that comes to mind, like a view from a drone, where it's just, you know, it's just all this, you know, big, beautiful, detailed, overproduced, for lack of a better word, you know, that kind of thing. You know, I don't really need to see something like that on nature music. You know, just a tree or a rock or, you know, something simple. You know. Uh, but, but otherwise, otherwise that, that's pretty much going to do it. Um, I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. Oh, and I need to also mention too, another reason why I'm, why I'm playing something like this and not really putting in a whole lot of effort in this is, uh, yesterday's cast, um, I, it was, uh, it was copyright claimed. So I could only put it out on Twitch, and on top of that, um, my uh, channel sort of kind of got nerfed. It used to be in the community tab on my channel, on my YouTube channel page. I could basically write what's a like a Twitter post, like a latest update or something. I used to be able to do that, which is uh, which is what I was doing. Like whenever one of my videos got copyright claimed, just go ahead and write a community post that says, hey. My uh, YouTube, you know, my YouTube poll or my YouTube cast got copyright claimed, but you can find it here on Twitch. You know that kind of thing, because uh, the peop generally the people that check out the people that check out my streams, my Twitch streams, especially my regulars, have are also subscribed to me on YouTube. So, just uh, making a community post on YouTube spares me a whole lot of trouble of having to sit there and individually or having to whisper each and every single person. That uh, that's uh, subbed to my YouTube, which is just a whole shit ton of copying and pasting. You know, I'm not a really big fan of. But uh, but no, they it, uh, they uh, decided to go ahead and nerf my channel. I now have to have at least 500 subs in order to use it. It was kind of the sh same shit I had to put up with way uh, some odd years ago, uh, when I first started streaming on Twitch. I was able to you know freely and easily upload my uh, upload my videos off of my computer onto Twitch. But at one point, they decided to go ahead and nerf that, nerf that too. I had to be an affiliate in order to do it now. So for the longest time, there was this huge dry spell where my only option of uploading videos was on YouTube. So, but may, what I'm kind of getting at on that is uh, Twitch is far, far more lenient when it comes to copyrighted music than, uh, than on YouTube. YouTube, damn near anything. I'm sure you could probably take a video of paint drying and it'll get flagged for copyright. I don't have that problem on YouTube, or very seldom. And if it does, all, all Twitch is going to do is... Oh, let me, let me rewind back. I forgot to mention, I'm mainly speaking now to people that are, that are just now checking out, these, checking out my casts. So the ones that have been watching 
that I've been checking these out for a long time, I'm going to be repeating myself. But anyway, if I had any kind of copyright, if, or let me rewind. If Twitch detected any kind of copyrighted music, all it's going to do is just, it's going to mute that little offending piece of material. Just, just that copyrighted part. That's it. YouTube, however, even, you know, even if I had one minute of copyrighted material on my video, yeah, it'll, they'll copyright claim it, and then they'll stick ads all over the damn thing, which I, it's one thing I pride myself on is all of my videos are ad-free. I, that's one of the reasons why I choose the music that I choose. It's much more obscure, much less likely to get copyright claimed, at least in theory. So, so that, that's, that's my reasoning on that. So, but otherwise, um, otherwise I'll just, I'll just cut it off at that. So, yeah. Um, but otherwise, thanks for, uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then. Thanks again for coming by, everyone, and see you all next time. Take care.